Hi everyone, I'm Todd Cummings, Superintendent of South Bend Schools. Happy New Year and welcome back. Even with the power outages that shortened it, we're closing out a great first week back to school. I hope all of you enjoyed a restful and safe holiday season and join me in looking forward to the semester ahead. I wanna share an update with you about our plans for middle and high school students in the coming weeks. Following Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Monday, January 18, our plan is for middle and high schoolers to resume hybrid in-person learning on Tuesday, January 19, following the same model as was observed earlier in the year. Again, our middle and high schoolers will resume the schedule they had followed before we move to full remote learning in November. Students in Group A will attend in person on Mondays and Tuesdays with a district-wide e-learning day on Wednesdays. Group B will attend in person on Thursdays and Fridays. Coming back to school in hybrid. On behalf of the Empowerment Zone, if your student goes to Navarre, Coquillard, Harrison, Warren, or Wilson only, they're set to return to sheltered e-learning on Tuesday, January 19, 2021. All Empowerment Zone students who participated in the first phase of sheltered e-learning are invited to return and parents of these students will receive a phone call from your child's Empowerment Zone teacher in the next two weeks confirming that you still want your child to engage in in-person learning beginning January 19th. If you have any questions regarding the South Bend Empowerment Zone's reopening schedule, if your student goes to Coquillard, Navarre, Warren, Wilson, or Harrison, please contact your child's school and principal. As we prepare to welcome back our secondary learners back into our classroom, I want to express again my admiration for the hard work of our teachers, principals, secretaries, bus drivers, maintenance staff, paraprofessionals, nurses, and building engineers who've been putting forth extraordinary effort to keep our classrooms and buildings clean, well ventilated, and safe for our students and staff. We can't wait to have all of our students back in the buildings, and I'm grateful to all of you for making ours a welcoming and safe environment. Thank you for tackling a difficult week of teaching about a proud and lasting democracy. Thank you for your work in fostering informed citizens, global thinkers, and knowledgeable leaders capable of compromise, empathy, and understanding. I've been thrilled to attend two senior swim nights, Riley and Washington's respectively. Tonight I'm heading to Clay High School to cheer our Colonials as they compete against Jimtown in girls basketball. It's also girls senior night. Wishing our boys wrestling team at Riley the best of luck on Saturday as they host the Invitational. I'm still working on my middle school battle of the books list. I'll finish Just Mercy this weekend, a story of justice and redemption by Brian Stevenson. And I'm about to start Roll With It by Jamie Sumner. Don't forget to join us on YouTube live for Monday's Board of School Trustees meeting. We'll be swearing in our new board member, Ms. Jeanette McCullough. We're looking forward to welcoming her. And as always, please submit comments to boardcomments at sb.school. Thank you for your hard work. Remember to wash your hands, wear your masks, and stay safe. Read a book, watch a classic film, or listen to an album. Have a great weekend, everyone.